All right, so <clears throat> what I'm doing here, I've already shaped this side, and I like the way this has turned out. So in order to get this side, I don't know if you can see the difference between the two sides. This is finished out. I think it, we're good about here. So this mark I came out here to my sand edge is about three and a half right there. So I came over here and made me a mark here of three and a half. Then I went to here and I marked about that six inches to my sanding edge. And I'll bring that sand edge over here. When I say sanding edge, I'm talking about, you can see, when you do this, it leaves kind of like a little road map of where you sand it. So, um, that's what I'm going by. And I moved to here, made me a mark here, so I marked across on the inside. So it was eight and a half here. And it came to that line and made me mark here at eight and a half. So just remember your, where your marks are, right here. And then right here. And then right here. And that'll get you close that you can help you get you safe where it's, you know, it's uniform or symmetrical. Don't go sand directly. The more flat you sand like this, the more over it goes. So I'm sanding like this at about a 45. Kind of get some of the waste out of the way. Once I think I'm pretty close, and I'll do like a 22 and a half degree, which is, that'd be about 45 like that, and turn it about like that's about 22. Half of 45 degrees. And I'm gonna bring it all the way up to my marks here. I'm not a boat ride. I've built a few hobby boats in my time, but I'm winning it. I'm just using my experience. And if, uh, if there's some boat rides watching this, I would be glad to hear any uh, words of wisdom that you might have. And I'll pass along my, my viewers. Because I would imagine people who are watching this are interested in building a boat. Sometimes you got to take your needle of pliers take those pieces out between that and the glue joints it causes you not to have a real it, it doesn't sand out right because it's kind of teeter-tottering on that stick like that okay so I get up to my line here just lay my sanding board over a little bit more and all this is is just a flat piece of plywood make sure it didn't have any bumps in it and once you get to here you start knocking out so you can see I'm gonna lower you down you should be able to see uh, little ridges see along here high spot little high spot then you can start looking those high spots out. See how I'm getting closer to my marks here? I'm trying to bring my line on across over here. Once 
want you to stand here and then you move over, you'll have a little high spot here. Get that one, move down to the next one. There's another one of my nails or what do you call it? One of my shoes about skewers, I use them as a nail. And just copy that side the same way I did. And then you should be able to see pretty close similarity there. Pretty close. Okay, as always, leave me a nice comment. I'll come to your page and leave you a nice comment. I need some watch time. Everybody needs watch time. I'm sure you do too. So uh, I'll see y'all on the next episode of this old kayak. No, I'm just kidding. 11 foot homemade DIY foam kayak. Later.